Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video we will learn how to create a turntable animation from the new render panel. We will be using one of the pre-installed Maverick jewelry samples which you can find in the start window. First of all, we will configure the resolution we want our turntable to render at. We will go for a square aspect ratio, which would suit well in Instagram post, for example. When you change the resolution, bear in mind that you may want to change the take aspect from turntable setting in the globals panel. Since we changed the resolution the scene was saved at, we will adjust the camera a bit, and then store it. Once the resolution is set, we will run through the rollups in the turntable page in the render panel. After resolution goes the sampling rollup. Here we will configure the noise level of our render and whether we want to enable the AI denoiser. In the output rollup we will pick the directory and file name our renders will be saved as Then we have the video encoding rollup, which has been a top request by our users. Now Maverick will optionally generate an MP4 or MAV video file from the rendered files. You can set a custom bitrate to control the quality versus file size trade-off. 3500 is often a good choice. The boomerang feature allows you to create a ping pong video that turns on one direction and then turns back to the beginning in reverse. In the timeline rollup you can define what frames or what frame range to render. You can also configure the frames per second and adjust the total duration of the animation. The mode selector allows you to choose between full animation, custom range, and a frame sequence. The sequence string takes comma separated frame numbers, or hyphen separated frame ranges. And last there is the turntable rollup, which is the most specific. Here you can define what elements will rotate during the animation. We can enable camera rotation and then use the scrubbing bar where you will preview the turntable animation directly in the IPR. Let's try rotating objects. Note that you can enable multiple rotation elements at once if you want. If we pay attention to the preview, we see that something crosses in front of the camera. If we pull to see the whole scene, we will see that the object that crosses is the backdrop, if we want the backdrop to stay still and not rotate, we can simply lock it in the objects panel. You may also rotate lights or the environment, or multiple elements as once as we said earlier. For this example we will simply rotate objects. We want them to rotate in reverse, which we can do by using a negative angle. You can use the start angle attribute to define where the rotation starts. Sometimes you want the animation to start with an offset with respect to the camera position. Finally we may choose what pivot, or center, the animation will rotate around. We may select the scene centroid if our objects happen to be well centered in the scene. Camera focus will rotate around the central pixel on the screen, placed at the focal distance. And we can also pick any specific object that we want to rotate about. These options give you great creative control on your turntable presentations. Now that everything is set up we can go ahead and fire up a draft render to see what the animation looks like. Keep in mind that draft render has the image resolution and uses a low sampling level value for the sake of previewing speed and validation. We will speed this recording up a bit here. But as you can see, we are hitting render times that fall under one second. When the turntable renders are complete, we can play back the video from this window. You can get an overall feel of the animation and see what the boomerang effect looks like. If you press browse output folder you will see that frames are also saved separately, just in case that you want to assemble the animation yourself in an external compositing software. The MP4 file encoded by Maverick is output in the same directory, 
next to the frames. In order to fire up a final render with full quality we recommend that you use a sampling level value between 7 and 9, and enable the AI denoiser, which usually looks great on turntable animations. Let's press final render and see how the render process begins. As you can see, each frame takes about 1 minute on this machine. And here is the final result. This quality is absolutely amazing. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.